I can bet nobody in your office knows these Excel tips. So make sure to watch this video till the end. If you want to lock Excel file with a password, there is a default option in Excel that you can use. So, so I need to uh, go to the save as uh, option and then I need to locate the place where I want to save it. Now here when you get this save as dialog box, you need to go to the tools and general options. So now here I have two options to apply a password. So one is to open the file and the second is to modify the file. So if I enter a password and then password to modify okay so it asks me for to re-enter the password to proceed okay and then again password to modify all right so now i'm going to save this file and let me close this file from here so here's the file that I have saved with the password to open or to modify and let me open this file again from here. All right, so I need to enter the password to open this file. So let's say password to open and now the password to, to modify. Or you can also, so if someone uh, doesn't know the password he or she can use this read only option where they can only see the file but that option will come only after entering the password to open the file so as we work on excel and we use a lot of files but there are few files that we use frequently or uh, we keep them open all the time so if you want to open some specific files or even a single file Whenever you open Excel, there is an option in Excel options that you customize and every single time when you open Excel application, it will open those files along with it. You need to go to the file tab, open the options from here and under the advanced tab, you need to scroll down to general options and here you have a input bar to add the address of the folder from uh, to add the address of the folder where you have all those files or even a single file that you want to open with Excel every single time. So at startup, open all files in. So this folder is on my desktop. And now if I click OK, and now if I close this file, and if I try to open Excel again, Now both of these files are opened instantly with Excel application. Now what happens is all the options that we have in Excel are listed on these tabs on the ribbon. But the point is we don't use all the options from all the tabs. So let's suppose if my uh, most frequent uh, option that I use is bold and the second most frequently used option is uh, inserting a chart. And the third one is to, uh, you know, to sort or so on and so forth. Now the point is all these options are on different tabs. And then I need to change tabs every single time when I need to use these options, right? But in Excel, there is a, a way to create a custom tab where you can put all these uh, options on a single tab and you, then you can use them uh, without changing like without moving to one tab to another so what you need to do is you need to open the file tab and go to options and from there you need to click on customize tab from there you need to click on the button new tab and it will instantly insert a new tab on the ribbon and let me move this tab to the first and then let me rename this tab. 
my tab. So here I have a new tab on my ribbon with the name my tab. So now next thing is to add all those options or buttons that I want to use uh, frequently. So I'm going to go to options again and then I'm going to open customize ribbon and here's the my new tab. So I'm going to add few options from here. As I said, bold is one of my most frequently used option. So now I'm going to click OK. And yes, here we have uh, all those options that I have added. So just like the right click menu, there's also a drag drop menu in Excel, which is very less known. So when you select a, a range or a cell and then you go to the border of that selection and press the right button from your mouse and drag and drop that range to a, some other place. It shows you a menu. We have few options to select. So if you want to move that data from that place to uh, the new so if you want to move data from uh, there to this place you can click on move here or if you want to copy uh, or if you want to copy here as values only or uh, if you want to use only formats and just like that you can also create link of that data or hyperlink as well and you can also shift the data that is already there on the destination range to write a down and copy or move that data from the source selection. I'm going to click copy here as values only. Yes, that's it. So all you need to do is select a range of cells, go to the border of the uh, selection, press and hold the right click button from your mouse and then drag and drop to some other place to get this menu hey thanks for watching this video and i hope you found these tips useful and before you go make sure to subscribe to this channel because i'll be coming out of with a lot of cool excel tutorials tips and tricks in coming weeks and don't forget to share which excel tips you really like from this video and i'll see you next week